Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about the Selenium interview questions and answers for freshers and experience. So let's get started. So our first question in our fifth episode is what is the major difference between driver.close and driver.quit? So driver.close will close the browser current window. So if we have the multiple windows open, then the current focus window will be closed. And whereas driver.quit irrespective of your instances it will close the entire browser so this is a major difference between this driver.close and driver.quit so let's move on to the next question so what is the use of javascript executor so this is the most important that everyone needs to know that javascript executor is helps us to perform multiple actions like mouse click actions or scrolling or mouse uh, i mean scroll scroll horizontal or scroll vertical so this will help us in, in those kind of situations where uh, Selenium web driver commands will uh, I mean create some issue then we can use this uh, JavaScript executors and in this JavaScript executors we have an it provides like JavaScript execute script and execute async scripts methods and this will works on the current frames frames or our windows selected windows. So this is a syntax where JavaScript executors uh, look like. So JavaScript executor JS equal to JavaScript executor and driver. So on typecasting from driver to JavaScript executor, you can use this JavaScript executor and you can provide a script and arguments. So let's move on to next question. So how to scroll down a page using a JavaScript in Selenium? So this is an most used in every, I mean most of the web pages and driver dot window window dot scroll by will provides us to scroll the horizontal actions so you can use this javascript executor dot execute script dot windows dot scroll by and you can provide the positions 0 0.500 or 0 0.5 5000 then it will scroll accordingly that position so let's move on to next question so how to select a value in a drop down so selecting a value in a drop down is based on I mean three criteria so select by value select by visible text select by index so select by value which will work on the an attribute which is a value attribute if there is a value attribute then this works and in case if there is no value attribute defined for the option in the drop down under select package then you can use a select by visible text and if you see uh, option with an uh, text for the tag then you can use this select visible text in case value and option is not provided then you can use a index method so index is if even though if you not provide any uh, attribute value or uh, text then you can use the index it will work let's move on to the next question so what are the different types of navigation commands so navigation commands is very handy and helpful in the web automation so drive i mean navigate dot back method will provide us to navigate backwards in the web browser this will use the browser history so in case if you have the browser history then you will navigate to backward and navigate dot forward will help us to move forward from the back page to current page so this is also mainly depend on browser history and navigate dot refresh will refresh the the web page and navigate dot dot to will provide you to navigate to any url and this is a best alternative for driver.get method. So I hope this session is useful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to my channel.